So I got a request from Krusty Warner, the Scottish cat. Uh, interesting request because I didn't even know what this was. Uh, it is called a corn hat and um, it's one of the hats. It has two corners. So why it's B-I-C-O-R-N um, is the bi, is big corn. Bi is two. So it's like the two cornered hat folded together. It's a natural um form widely adopted or historical form widely adopted in the 1790s in Europe and American armies. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So I, there's like 500 different kinds, but this is what they are is they're just the felt hats that are formed together. They're, they're put on top like this and pulled together. And usually there's some kind of symbol or maybe stitchery around the outside, but this is the one that I'm drawing. So we're gonna start at the top. And we're gonna come down. It's like a little roller coaster. Woohoo! And this is, this is kind of the frontal view, but it has the other side to it. So this one's, uh, there you go. And then we're gonna come off here and then bring it up like this. And this is gonna be our, kind of like our trim. So we're gonna do this on both sides. You can make it thicker, as thin, some had gold, um, decorative. And then I made this, you can kind of see the back of the hat because there is another side to it that's folded over. All right, they all have some decorative piece to it. So I saw one that I liked. And so it was pretty basic. It almost looks like an arrow, like it's like a arrow piece. And then there's a line right down the middle. And before you get all the way down, you're gonna draw a button right there, okay? And then underneath this is, uh, it's like a decorative piece. Looks very, very royal. So I'm just making it around underneath. And we are gonna add, cause it kind of goes lump, lump, lump. So when you're coming around, you wanna make kind of like a scalloped edge around here. Cause this looks like what they did is that they just um, tapered it in the middle. And then you wanna do, this is, I made a red one coming around here. Boop, boop, boop. And then you could put some lines in here showing that it's like kind of like creased together. And I made a little decorative edge along the edge. So I just went swoop like this all the way down and around and then bring it back up. So it's pretty simple. Um, most generals and staff officers of the Napoleon period wore uh, these hats. And they're really broad brimmed hats and they're made out of felt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do regular Sharpie and then I'm gonna do big Sharpie around the outside. So let's do it. I'm taking my bigger Sharpie. Now I'm going to erase. All right, the only colors I used were black and gray. So up here would be gray. So color this in gray. And then you're gonna color in the rest of the hat black, just so it looks like there's like a difference. And then I did, oh, golden yellow. So this whole thing's gonna be a golden yellow. And to make it look more gold, we are going to add tan. So you're gonna come here with your tan color and go right down the middle with tan, go around the button with tan, and then go around the sides with tan. So it makes it look more like it's like golden. Okay, and then I just took red, and that's gonna be for the doily part. Oh, I forgot to draw the other side of this here. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. 
And if you want, you can go in with gray and then do it so just a little shadow underneath so it looks like it's it's underneath the, the button. And all this, of course, is gray and the rest is just black and that's it. It, it, it. Easy cheesy lemon squeezy. Good luck.